Welcome back. I am Gabriella. I am the Complex Traveler and this is week three of reviewing the list of wines that Total Wines has created, top 20 of 2022. Um, this is number five on their list, Crimson Ranch California Chardonnay 2021. It is produced in Napa Valley by the Mondavi family. Um, Mondavi has been around for many years in the California industry, winemaking industry. Um, they are very well known. You can get their wines pretty much everywhere that you go. Um, restaurants, um, stores, planes, uh, I'm, they're everywhere. Um, they are mass produced. Um, and Mondavi themselves have gone through a um, lots of changes um, in their wine industry. Um, they are, I would say, trying to reinvent themselves and their brand. And this label, Crimson Ranch, is um, probably one of those steps in reinventing their wines. Um, they, in this label, they only make four varieties. Um, it's a Cabernet, a Red Blend, the Chardonnay, um, and I believe the fourth one is a Pinot Noir. Um, and that's it. They, um, like I said, um, they are labeling their, um, new wines under Crimson Ranch, um, or at least these ones. Um, and these are from Napa Valley. Um, I don't drink a lot of Chardonnay. Chardonnay is not typically the, um, my go-to. Um, I have tried many Chardonnays in the past and different ones from very oaky to very buttery, um, stainless steel aged, oak aged, um, and for this particular wine, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I went ahead and I chilled it earlier. Um, I let it sit out for just a little while before I drink it. And I wanted to drink it and take some time um, to really um, review the wine before making this video. So um, this is a little bit different than I had done the previous two ones, um, reviews. Um, so immediately, um, it has a nice uh, golden yellow um, color. It's um, medium to full bodied. Um, it is coating the glass nicely. Um, you know, you can see through um, to the other side. Um, it's it's an, a nice mouthfeel. Um, I actually ended up liking this. Um, it was more fruit forward than the typical Chardonnays that I've had. Um, more fruit forward, very pear, very much I tasted pear and apple, um, pineapple. Um, it was a little on the, on the sweeter side, not too sweet, but um, it was definitely on the sweeter side um, from a typical Chardonnay. Um, it's, I don't feel like it is too buttery. So if that's something that you really like or very oaky, um, I would not say this is that. This is your more fruit forward, sweeter, um, sweeter side on the sweeter side of your Chardonnay. Um, and so I think that's why I liked it a little bit better. Um, uh, as I was drinking it, um, you know, I, I, you know, it was taking my time. And so I felt like, um, on the back end, it almost be became a little bit tart as well. Um, and even a little it thinner, maybe even a little, um, watery towards the end, um, which I found interesting. Um, so, um, but it, it was very nice. It was, a, it's a nice bottle, $15, um, nice gift, 
um, housewarming gift if you're going to someone's house for dinner. This is, I would say, would be a great wine to take um, mm. for that purpose. Or like I said, if you like um, the more fruitier um, Chardonnays, this, was, this would be lovely just to sip on. Um, the, like I said, it, it's not very oaky and more fruity tropical flavors. Um, yeah, full body, I medium to full body. Um, I liked it, 13.5% alcohol, so, um, you know, it's not too high on the alcohol level, but um, it's up there. Um, like I said, made in Napa Valley by the Mondavi family. Um, and I can see why the Total Wine put this on their list. Um, trying to help out the Mondavi family um, restructure their brand, restructure their um, their reputation in the wine industry. Um, they are working hard at that. Um, but overall, I would say I give it three... Three, one, three glasses on the Complex Traveler review guide. And um, next week we'll be trying um, another wine, number four. So if you're following along, um, you can check out my Instagram and I have that posted there. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Um, I am there, and you can also read my full review on my website, thecomplextraveler.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Leave comments below, subscribe. Um, as I am reviewing these wines, I'm also um, strat you know, creating my own brand and knowledge and followers and so thank you all who are following me it's great having you here um and i hope you enjoy these videos um and following along on this journey of the california wines through the list that uh, total wines has for 2022 um it's been fun and we'll be in week number four next week see you then have a great night bye